the new Space Jam movie is here and it looks better than ever before. You might know about Malcolm D. Lee, the director, and his creative filmmaking team that includes Ryan Coogler and Maverick Carter. This movie is a mashup of two magical worlds and portrays true parent-child love, but LeBron's new movie has a ton of fun secrets for us to explore. So today, we're going to explore secrets and moments from the new Space Jam movie. But before we get into the movie, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss any of the new videos we post. First, their talented cast. It's no secret that a range of talented actors are starring in the new movie. These people make all the moments, from LeBron James to Don Cheadle, Chris Davis, Sonequa Martin-Green, newcomer Cedric Joe, Jeff Bergman, Eric Boza, and the great Zendaya. This movie is packed full of Hollywood's best. If you've watched the previous installment, you probably know how the movie goes. When LeBron and his young son Dom are trapped in a digital space by the rogue AI, LeBron must get them home safe by leading Bugs, Lola Bunny, and the whole gang of notoriously undisciplined Looney Tunes to victory over the AI's digitized champions on the court. A powered up roster of professional basketball stars as you've never seen them before, so it's basically the Looney Tunes versus the bad guys. Can't get any better than that. Each tune will showcase their own talent and create a unique moment of their own as they help save LeBron and his son from the bad guys. Even though the original star from the previous movies was Michael Jordan, fans are not disappointed to see James take his place. After all, if anyone's doing a movie like Space Jam and taking Jordan's place, it should be four-time MVP, LeBron James. Secondly, LeBron James used to love it. You might not be aware of this, but LeBron James was actually a huge fan of Space Jam. He used to watch it frequently, and when he found out he was getting cast for it, he was over the moon. Also, standing in Jordan's shoes was a huge responsibility for him, so James reportedly felt a little nervous during his younger days. He wanted to make his fans proud and act well for them, but he was also worried about acting as well as Jordan. We all know Jordan did a phenomenal job in the first Space Jam installment, so filling his shoes was no easy task, but James wanted the experience and he also enjoyed it thoroughly. He also talked about how nervous he was when he was shooting the new movie, but he overcame the struggle and decided that his efforts would shine through regardless of who he was. And he was right. Fans will definitely love his performance when the new movie releases in July 2021. We have a new Goon Squad. The cast this time around is just as phenomenal as the first one. In fact, this time you'll get to see a range of new criminals in action. That's right, we have a set of new goons that will make trouble for LeBron, his son, and the Looney team. And if you're a basketball fan, you might even recognize some of these voices. Even though it might seem a little hard to believe, NBA stars like Clay Thompson, Damian Lillard, and Anthony Davis are part of the new villain team. The team also includes WNBA's Nika Agumike and Diana Taurasi. I can't believe all these basketball legends are coming together for this animation. It really does feel surreal. But the good news for all basketball and animation enthusiasts is that it is real and true. In fact, the movie is all set to drop on 16th July 2021, and that's not too far at all. It has a ton of easter eggs. An important secret about the new Space Jam movie is that it contains a series of references from the original Space Jam, so we'll get to see bits and pieces of the old movie coming to life through this new one. If you're a fan of the original Space Jam, be on the lookout for references from the old movie and this new one. But what's really amazing is that the new movie doesn't just quote the previous Space Jam, but also a ton of other movies. So look out for cinematic masterpieces like Mad Max, Casablanca, and The Matrix being represented through easter eggs in this movie. And as LeBron James travels through the Warner Bros film vault in search of the Toon Squad, he's going to come into contact with a lot of movies from the Warner Bros collection. It even has its own Monopoly game. After Space Jam's success, it made sense for other games to pick up the popular space theme and collaborate with the franchise too. And one of the most popular collaborations that came out of this was the one between Space Jam and Monopoly. Monopoly will be creating Space Jam themed Monopoly boards after the new movie is released, and the game won't be like the regular Monopoly. In fact, there will be a few interesting twists for the players. Players will have to recruit Looney Tunes characters and launch shots at a plastic basket in this new game. Might sound strange for a Monopoly game, but it's something that I'd love to try out. Lola Bunny is back. I think one of the best things about this new movie is how they've honored the old Space Jam characters and introduced scarier villains. One of the main characters
characters you'll definitely be seeing again is Lola Bunny. This is great news if you loved her character as much as I did. And the best thing is that this time, the iconic Zendaya is voicing Lola's character, so you can expect it to be a confident, well-written female protagonist. Lola might be seeing more screen time than the last movie, and according to the animation team, she won't be sexualized as she was last time either. Sounds pretty good to me. The movie has a solid animation team. An animated movie, as the same suggests, is all about the animated magic. So for any animated movie to be a success, a range of creative animators have to collaborate and work tirelessly to make it happen. But gladly, the new Space Jam movie has an excellent creative animation team. You might not be aware of this, but Lucasfilm's visual effects division, which is known as Industrial Light and Magic, was hired to create the visual effects for this movie. This is the second collaboration with the Looney Tunes in using ILM for visual effects since Who Framed Roger Rabbit 1988. Also in January 2020, veteran Walt Disney Animation Studio animator Tony Bancroft was hired at Warner Animation Group to work on the film. After this, in March 2020, James announced that the work on the film's animation had commenced, while also revealing that the production had largely been unaffected by the COVID-19 pandemic, as most of the remaining work involves animation. That same month, Warner Bros. Animation veteran Spike Brandt was named as Director of Animation. Oli Loken is also one of the main animators, and has also worked extensively on animation hit Klaus. Fans were very happy when he announced that he will serve as an animator on the film. Soon after announcement to be part of the film, Loken shared the design for Lola Bunny and Daffy Duck Online, revealing that a new legacy will stay true to previous designs of the Looney Tunes characters. What's also great is that the film will include both traditional and CG animation. And finally, it's being supported by Nike too. I was saving the best for last. You might not be aware of this, but the new Space Jam is being endorsed heavily by Nike. So when James leads the Looney Tunes squad in a high stakes game of basketball against the goons in the upcoming Space Jam, he'll be debuting a pair of new Nike shoes. And do you know which ones they are? These new shoes are the brand new Nike LeBron 19. And you might not believe this, but it isn't the only Nike or Converse product making an on-screen entrance before coming to the real world as part of Nike's grand collaboration with Warner Bros. This means you might get to see other products being showcased in the movie as a result of this collaboration. According to the CEO of the Spring Hill Company, a great reason to bring Nike into the film is to help the story. This is mainly because shoes and basketball always go really well together. The film is a story that revolves around a game, so it makes sense to have Nike shoes be a part of that storytelling. And since Nike has a long-standing partnership with both James and Warner Bros, the whole situation makes all the more sense. And with that, it wraps up the video. Thanks for watching.